Parents, don't fall in a trap to ignore your child's inborn talent and aspirations. One of the most important duty of parents and education system is to help children to discover their passion, purpose, innate talents and strengths. Hear me out the following oft-quoted fable by R. H. Reeves, The Animal School. Once upon a time, the animals decided they must do something heroic to meet the problems of new world, so they organized a school. They adopted an activity curriculum consisting of running, climbing, swimming and flying. To make it easier to administer the curriculum, all the animals took all the subjects. The duck was excellent in swimming, in fact better than the instructor. but. He does only passing grades in flying and was very poor in running. Since he was slow in running, he had to stay after school and also drop swimming in order to practice running. This was kept up until his webbed feet were badly worn out and he was only average in swimming. But average was accepted in school, so nobody worried about that except the duck. The rabbit started at the top of the class in running but had a nervous breakdown because of so much makeup work in swimming. The squirrel was excellent in climbing until he developed frustration in the flying class where his teacher made him start from the ground up instead of the tree top down. He also developed a charlie horse that is intense muscle cramp from overexertion and got a C in climbing and D in running. The eagle was a problem child and was disciplined severely. In the climbing class, he beat all the others to the top of the tree but insisted on using his own way to get there. At the end of the year, an abnormal eel that could swim exceedingly well and also run, climb and fly a little had the highest average and was valedictorian. The prairie dogs stayed out of the school and fought the tax levy because the administration would not add digging and burrowing to the curriculum. They apprenticed their children to a badger and later joined the groundhogs and gophers to start a successful private school. This story is a satire on today's education system. The education system that does not recognize students as unique individuals will set them up to fail in life even if they succeed academically. Broad-based education should not destroy one's core competence. Imagine how magnificent our children's future be if our education system actually helped kids identify their core competency by exploring their talents from young age and growing their skills over the 12 years in school. Instead, they let them all follow the same routine and leaving them totally confused in life after the year 12. Each child is unique. Parents and education system often do not value the differences displayed in exceptionally unique child. Let the fish swim. Rabbits run, eagles fly, squirrels climb. Do we really want the schools that create average ducks in swimming? The Bhagavad Gita, one of the greatest manuals on life, explains this profound truth. In chapter 3, verse 35, I quote, It is far better to perform one's natural duty, though with faults, than to perform another's duty perfectly. It is preferable to die in the discharge of one's duty than to follow the path of another, which will be fraught with fear and danger. Parents, take time to identify your child's innate talents and interests. Help them to set clear, achievable goals that align with their unique inherent talents and aspirations. Avoid comparing them to others or to conform to social expectations. This ignites creativity and innovation. This way, children can unlock their full potential, 
find fulfillment and meaningful contribution to their personal life and positive impact on the world.